friends. Welcome to another episode of Allison's Eats. Today we're gonna to be making sweet potato and black bean chimichurri bowls. And I absolutely love this meal. I'm so excited to share it with you all. So for this recipe, I follow a authentic Argentinian chimichurri recipe and I absolutely love it. It really just takes the simplicity of black beans and rice to the next level. And if you'd like to make this a version with extra protein, you can pair it with grilled steak or chicken, but today we're gonna to be making a vegetarian version and it is truly so delicious. Brandon loves it so much that for his birthday this year, he didn't wanna to go to a fancy restaurant or go out and about. He just wanted me to make this meal and enjoy it at home. So it's one of our favorites. I really hope you enjoy it and let's get cooking. produce look how vibrant and colorful it all is so so gorgeous also just so you know that all of the ingredients along with a list of written instructions will be in the description of this video so no need to take notes of the ingredients as I go along it'll all be there for you also I picked up these fresh banana peppers from the farmers market this past weekend and this is my first time adding the banana peppers into this recipe but I think they will add a nice and fun flair, but it's completely optional. So the first thing we're gonna do is cook our sweet potatoes. And I just absolutely love these things. I love how versatile they are. You can make them sweet by, I was gonna say styling them, but by flavoring them with coconut oil and cinnamon, or you can make them savory, which is what we're gonna be doing today with paprika and cumin and sea salt. They're just fabulous. And even just eating one sweet potato a day gives you 400% of the vitamin A you need. And it also is great for your immune system and healthy for your eyes. So these things are just fabulous and they really are so tasty if you season them correctly. So I'll show you how I season them and I'm going to cook them in my air fryer. So once I cut them, I just pop them in here and then we'll season them once they're in the air fryer basket. And if you don't have an air fryer, no worries. You can just toss it all in the bowl with your olive oil and seasoning and then bake it in the oven. And I'll include the baking directions in the description so it's all written out for you. potatoes are all chopped up so let's go ahead and add some spices spice it up so in order for our spices to really stick I like to spray on some olive oil this is one of my favorite kitchen hacks have a little spray bottle full of olive oil we also like to have a bottle that you can pour as well because you know it just depends sometimes you need a nice clean pour but sometimes the spray just really helps evenly distribute it so it's great to have lots of options and we will be using plenty of extra virgin olive oil in this recipe. So definitely make sure you're stocked up. And then I'm going to sprinkle the sweet potatoes with some paprika and cumin. And I genuinely eyeball this, but I will try to include some rough measurements in the description. I use a bit more paprika, but if you are a little bit sensitive to spicy food, I would take it a bit easier on the paprika. And I love to add cumin as well. I need to stock up. I'll probably end up using the rest of this. And I also am going to add some sea salt. I toss as I go so it can all get evenly distributed. So that's how seasoned my sweet potatoes look after I'm finished. And again, you can totally customize this to fit your spice tolerance preferences. Mm -hmm. 
as the sweet potatoes are cooking, I'm going to work on our rice and our black beans. The rice is simple, just follow whatever directions of the rice that you have in your home. And for the black beans, I'm gonna cut up a red onion and lots of garlic so we can add those flavors to our black beans. And I'm going to saute the bell peppers, the onion and the garlic, and then we'll pour in our drained beans. So I used half of each bell pepper. You absolutely do not need to do this. You can just use one or two of the same color bell pepper. Again, I just love how colorful it is. And each bell pepper has a faintly different taste. So I love that. And then for the leftover bell pepper, I like to just keep some in the fridge that we can top salads or eggs with. So it's great just to have on hand. And I also like to save some of these chopped veggies and onions to top our bowl with as well. So we have some of the sauteed veggies, but also some of the raw veggies as well. I have my peppers and onion on medium high heat and I'll just continue to Move them around occasionally, and then we'll add in our garlic, black beans, and spices. Whenever I cook, I always use plenty of garlic. Always add a little bit extra because who cares about garlic breath when you have a happy belly? a little bite of the banana pepper by itself because I've only ever had it in the jar and we love to put them on banana or <laughs> on sandwiches on veggie sandwiches but this is what oh these are jalapenos never mind you know what I mean though we usually only have the banana peppers in a jar like this so it's fun trying them in their raw natural form and they just taste like a regular bell pepper and they're not very spicy at all so I don't know if it's just this batch I got. It has a tiny, tiny kick, but nothing too crazy. It's pretty mild, but it'll add another fun element to our dish. Here's our lineup for the black beans. Our onions and peppers are looking nice and translucent, and we have all our spices ready to go. So I drained and rinsed one can of black beans and then I preserved the liquid, well most of it, in this can. So we still have a bit of moisture and I'm just going to dump them both in the pan and then season them with cayenne, garlic powder, onion powder, and then this chili and lime seasoning from Trader Joe's. It is just so good. It's a combination of garlic salt and just some other spices that complement black beans really nicely. Also gonna add a little bit of sea salt and black pepper and a splash of white wine vinegar, which is the secret ingredient that my Cuban Grammy taught me and I do it every time now.
potatoes after 15 minutes at 400 degrees. They look and smell fabulous, but I am gonna put them in just a teeny bit more because they are still quite firm. Okay, here's the update. We've got our sous chef in the kitchen helping me. So we have our rice cooking. It has about 10 minutes left. And then we have our black beans and rice looking and smelling scrumptious. And our sweet potatoes are pretty much done. They've honestly been done for quite a while. So I may just warm them up for a minute or two right before we start eating. Not yet though. And then the last thing we need to do is make our chimichurri. So I have out all of the ingredients and I will link the exact recipe to this in the description. Cause like I said, I like to do the authentic, at least it's claims to be authentic Argentinian chimichurri. So I'll have that in the description, but tonight I'm gonna do half and half parsley and cilantro. So it's gonna be a little bit of a mix. And typically I prefer the Italian parsley, but my grocery store only had the curly parsley. So that's what we're working with tonight, but I know it'll be delish. are rumbling I'm so excited to eat this so now I'm just gonna top our black beans rice and sweet potatoes so I have romaine lettuce some lime avocado red onion our peppers our chimichurri of course the star of the show some Cholula hot sauce and Greek yogurt we love to use plain Greek yogurt instead of sour cream it pretty much tastes the same maybe just a tad bit less sour but it's a great option delicious and I like to just leave the chimichurri in the middle of the table so that we can add more if desired mm -hmm. and it pairs perfectly with the Topo Chico beautiful beautiful cheers yes. <laughs> cheers <laughs> our meal it was so good you loved it I never loved gets it. old is it getting Always. old uh no no never it's so good it's getting new he said i hope you guys enjoyed this cook with me and let me know if you end up making this recipe i'd love to see your creations but thank you so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you next bye bye, bye. say bye palmer thanks for being my sous chef <laughs>